Hello, and today I'm going to talk to you about Photoshop and a cool trick. Um, a lot of times in um, people's Photoshop documents, I see things kind of drawn arbitrarily and it's really bad because it even makes it harder when you're exporting things. That's certainly what I use techniques for. And you may have seen some people with grids on their Photoshop comp. Well, this is a good way to build a website template because then you, uh, it's easier to do in CSS later. Because if you've got these kind of arbitrary, arbitrary shapes, then you're going to have to use an awful lot of images, which in turn isn't good for search engines and isn't good for the loading of your page. So, uh, using guides will make your website better all around. And let me first say, I'm not... <coughs> I'm not claiming to be a good designer, I mean, you've seen my work, but I, I just think this is something that's important and is often overlooked in the design world. So as you see, I've got three uh, arbitrary shapes here that I've just drawn in Photoshop, and they've each got very delicate lines. So. So I was cropping these out to um, do as images. You should never do this anyway, but say it was. It'd be very kind of difficult to get that exactly. And then I'd have to do it f for the other image and it'd just be a headache. Well, when you use guides and you set up your... Um, comp like that things snap to the guide so I, I first want to say that this is the very long wrong way about it because uh, again you should build your designs with this in mind but let's just get started uh, if you press command R I'm guessing control R on a PC. Um, you get these rulers, and they're useful on their own. But if you try to go right up to the edge, you'll find that you can drag and and get this. Um, get this line all the way down your. Photoshop comp. Well, this is what's known as a guide, and it's just what this says a guide. But this is how you should build your layouts with things snapping to the to the guides. And so, if I just show you this example and why you should do this. Um. So if I so I was trying. Split up all these three images. I would just put one I would just drag out one guide there because that's all going to be one button and one guide there so it splits it up in it everything's on the right side of the guide so for this to work probably you need to go to view and then snap to and then you need to make sure guide is selected what this will do is any new object you draw 
it'll intelligently snap it to the guides. But now let's try cropping out these images and see how we get on. So if I just go ahead and crop out the image, it snaps to the guide. Um, so I'd say that's relatively exact portrayal of the button. Let me show you what I was saying about um, new elements snapping to the guide. If I draw in a um, button, it automatically knows where to go. And then if I drag in another guide, you can get vertical guides as well. But for that, you have to drag from the top. So if I put another guide on these, at the bottom of these then I tried to crop so, so it just keeps your design work a lot more organised and please try and uh, experiment with them. It's one of the best things that is going to happen to the web if more people start to use them because it will be more organised. So thank you for watching this rather mangled video.